Let's get moving. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're live. This is New Talk Now. And I'm really privileged, really grateful today to have Fabian Farquhar in here. Fabian's an awesome dude. He runs lots of awesome Facebook groups like um, he'll mention or I'll mention. And uh, he's been stuck. Studying health and spirituality for 20 years here. He's worked on himself. He's done the work. He walks the talk. And uh, he has a lot to share. So Fabian's over there in the UK. And uh, if you've ever seen any of his videos, you probably know that he's into all kinds of, um, you know, astrology and gnosis and physical health and just like so many things. He's, he's had experiences with uh, different different being other realms and uh he's just just an awesome being of light here full of energy he's always got lots of energy he's been on the alkalize to realize talks a bunch of times and he has his own youtube channel transmutation 2020 and so yeah here's fabian he's uh just getting a few a couple things ready it looks like but uh, <laughs> thanks for coming fabian and uh you want to introduce yourself a bit further for anyone that maybe doesn't know about you yet? Yeah, um, I've been around the block a little bit, <laughs> you, could, you could say. Yeah, I, I, I would say that I, I deal with um, the the knowledge of life, pretty much. There are a lot of words that you can put on, on that. Gnosis is, is one, is, is going to be a key one. So I deal with a lot of, you could say, Gnostic Gnosis. Uh, and, and, and through that, we're, also, we're actually covering uh, a wide, encompassing a very, very wide um, area, which includes the advancement and the well-being of the, what, you, what I, I, I did term and still do term, the uh, human avatar. And through my own self-realizations and actualizations leads me to expelling what I know upon others to enable them to lead them towards their own light, uh, which illuminates themselves and allows them to actually grow, to flourish into being what they came here to be. And, and one of the, 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 the biggest things really is for one to actually find their true purpose. Um, and that's what actually happens when you become self-realized. Um, it leads you to finding your, your own true purpose and your own state of um, authenticity through the authenticity leads you to finding your, your actual purpose. Because what we, what we find is, is, is that at the minute, there are 95% of beings that are here, but they don't actually know what it is that they're actually doing here, who they are, where they came from. And, and through that, we have a situation where we have uh, beings that are lost. The last few days, I've been terming it lost without uh, love. When you look at beings and you think, why are they like this? What is going on? It's because they're lost without love. Um, through that self-realization and that uh, gnosis uh, leads myself to finding my true core being. And, and because of that, it, it also leads me to areas of, of wisdom, of wisdom that enables me to be able to come out and, and speak to others and to, to help them in order for them to grow. Uh, whilst I am also growing at the same time the same moments um and by, by looking past it the, the ego past what i call the false ego that enables us to actually start to be able to see the light of of truth uh because be, prior to that we are walking around um blindfolded because the ego blindfolds us because what happens is we come through initially as um it's like, it's like this. I'll, I'll stop in a second because I, I do. I generally get tempted to go. This, this here is it's, uh, it's a, the Church of Libella, right in in Ethiopia, right. And and they say here the Ark of the Covenant is kept here, right. But you'll see that it's in this square. But it's not actually it's not actually a square. Yeah, it's a matter cross. And the reason it's a matter cross is because when we come through as a human being, there are there are uh, three element 
initially uh, that we take on and then we, we come through as, as a fourth. We don't realise, I'm going to go full circle with this, that the body, the body, yeah, is a manifestation and, and the word man, if best, is stems from man, which comes from hand. So a hand is, makes, is playable, makes things happen. So an active force makes things happen. So the word man, if best, the word man and hand are inter interconnected. And with hands, hands are pliable. With, with hands, we make things happen. So we manifest, we make things happen. So what happens is the soul manifests the body and it does this through four elements. It does that through, through the elements of earth, water, air, and fire. And we can equate those to your, your being that comes through. Your, you have your sexuality, your emotions, you have your intuition. Yeah. And all and those and those and and then you have your thinking and and those four, those four are what bring the base of the human being, and that's what being brings forth um, the the actual ego from there from that point. So I was just explaining <laughs> who I, who who I am and what I and the reason that I do that is because I don't like to sit and speak about. I am this and I am. We, we, we've done some things here. Um, what, what happens is there are, there are subtle forces at play uh, in every movement and in every area. And even when we think that we found it, really we haven't because we still in many cases are blinded by the actual ego. So it's like I could sit and say, I, I, I do in, in the matrix, I do this and I do that and I do this and I do that. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm adulterating my matter and taking away from what I am, from what I am, which is you are also I am, I am, is a reflection of itself. When the one splits itself, it then becomes, it then questions itself to say, well, who am I? What am I? I am. So your true purpose is to go back to the core, the core oneness of one's being. And, and through doing that, through doing that, we come to realise uh, what we truly are, and then we come to know our our life path. So that is why I do what I do. I put lots of the videos out where possible, uh, and, and, and it's all in in aid, all in aid of of bringing forth truth, so that others can recapture their own truth, and also that they can then do what they see this self doing. And others doing also, which is actually to um, to expel and re repel truth outwards to uh, reduce and nullify um, suffering born out of ignorance and ne science. And ne science is pretty much no science, lack of science, because but through not knowing the true biological science is of the physical vessel that leads us into the hands of others, yeah, and and through that we then become uh, lost, as I was saying at the very at the uh, at the very beginning. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Fabian. That's really cool. Just you know the way you speak it really nicely. I just want to check with people if one person or two people would comment about this audio quality does get a yeah. little bit crackly for me at my end but it, you know if someone can just comment saying that they heard fabian or not just let us know that would be great yeah um so Fabian, i want to ask actually just because you brought it up it's interesting to me i have seen the ark of the covenant come up a couple times for me recently can you just elaborate on, on what that is and and yeah just I've heard that there's more than one or something, or they, I know there's they have significant role to play in what's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you see, I mean, there's 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 a lot of things outside of the self that you know we can look at, you know, and say it's like you you've also got you know you've got night the night the Knights Templar, and what 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 you have is is people have their different ideologies. On, on what things actually are. But really, 
what I would what I would really say, really, is is that everything is all coming from within the self. It really is. In reality, in reality, what's actually happening is is, is that it, everything that that we see in this in this physical plane is all stemming from is all stemming from mind. So because it because it's all stemming from actual mind, yeah, you, you know, be, because of that, because of that, it means that it's it's all a part of 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 the self. We are the ones that bring forth pretty much everything that happens here, and it's it's only it's only because it's only because of duality, because of dualism, while we while we while we think things are separate to us, and we think. Oh, well, this is this is good, or this is that. This is bad. Like people say, you know, the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant has been around the world. Some people it's in Ethiopia. Some people say it's elsewhere. Yeah, but in but in reality, really, in reality, really, what is it that we need? We're really when we're looking at things outside of the self, we're actually really in search. We're actually really in search of the supreme nature that is hiding within us. That is what it is that we that we are actually really doing. So when we look at, at the self and we look at things like the, the Ark of the Covenant, uh, certain sculptures and things like that that have been uh, that have been with us for many many times, or the uh, the, the, the so, so I said for example the um, the Philosopher's Stone, yeah, all of these things really are in are in are speaking about states of being that are within the self. That's what's really happening. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's great that you said that, you know. Um I think it's really important that people hear that and they and they do look within themselves for answers, you know, because everybody's so focused on what's going on outside. And for me, what I've been learning a lot lately is like if if I don't know what to do, I literally just go within. And I was like, well, what, what do I want to do? Right? And, and the answer is also always really clear, you know, but yeah. we're, we're so ingrained to think that we're supposed to be doing certain things, but you don't have to do anything. You just, you do what you want because <laughs> so that you can become yourself, you know, it's, it's, and it really yeah. did come fun once you let go of all these programs that have held us in this, like, fear-based, uh, you know, consciousness where there's, you know, a lack of resources or a lack of something. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. what, I, but for me, what I've been learning and, and what I like in my, through my experience that I, that I know you have too, is that, that treating yourself, um, like the way that you really are as a, as a real being of light, as a God or however you want to call it, it's really important to look at your physical health because you get programming that the body doesn't really need much food at all. Uh, and the lighter the foods, the more energetic the foods or liquids you put in, the more energetic and light your body becomes. Once you get that and you experience that and however you do, uh, you know, that is a really a, a great way to just like to start to merge your, um, your real self to realize have that self-realization you know like jesus talks about in the same gospel of peace it's really very simple you know just just be grateful for what you take and um from the earth or what it's you and, and look after your body and, and i think it's really cool the way you've dived so deep into all this gnosis and you just bring so many pieces of information together and you and you do it all, man. And like I said at the start, you're just like a, a ball of knowledge, energy. It's be captivating. I hear a lot of my friends say they just love watching all your interviews. Yeah, that's that's that is really good to hear, brother. You know, and we do it all out, out of love. You know, and, and this, is, this is what we what we're here to do. So I mean, you you were just touching on some things there. You talk about Jesus as with the Essenes, etc. You know. I've got one of the books at Mystical Life of Jesus and the and, and the obscene path. And and in that, like you, what he's literally saying is, is, is that there is a neutral a neutral point of as a point of neutrality within its energies, right? And and this is and it's all hidden within that. Even when you we're talking about the Ark of the Ark of the Covenant, the reason I was talking about that is because it's a material possession. 
like as an ornament, say, for example, but it's made out of gold. So, so, but then you will find that, that gold, gold is going to be highly venerated. If you look all the way back, you'll always see a connection between purple and gold and royalty. Gold, yeah. Um, and gold, I did a, a video a long, long time ago about the, the, the properties of gold yeah, in terms of electro, electrical conductivity. And if you can relate that to your own physical vessel, to your own physical vessel, again, this is what I was saying about no science and actual science. The actual physical body is is a, is 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 like a, a tool. It is like uh, a, a, a sort of I don't like the same mechanism, an application even <clears throat> that that is generated. It is expanded by energy. That is what it is. So if you've got something like even an Ark of the Covenant, and it's all encased in gold, they're always telling you that that gold, for example is at the, the, the zenith point of, of energy, which is you can relate that gold to the sun, yeah, which is why Solomon was connected to gold. And the name Solomon, which is O, 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 has O, O, O in it, and O is going to give you 666, which is going to give you the sun, right? But that that point of neutrality is, is always going to be this centre plane of inertia here, this point of stillness. So when you see people... In this, in the, any of these moments, to do with uh, your overall well-being, and even if someone, if you was protesting in, in these moments now, emotionally protesting, you are you are then going to be you are then going to be tr triggering a an energetic force within you. Yeah, you could put it as simple as positive and negative. I won't go too too deeply into what I'm speaking about magnetism, which has been hidden. But the word mag. I mean, in in German, the word mag means to like, means to like, but you have uh, mag, which is then you you're going to have, which is going to give you magnesium, which is then going to give you magic, which is going to get, which is then going to give you a lot of other words as well. After that, magnetism, yeah. And the reason the reason for that, the reason for that is because everything is conducted via super via supreme forces, unseen forces. And anything that you then anything that you buy into, anything that you buy into as a creator of your own illusion, yeah, what actually happens is you are then triggering an energetic response within your internal being, whether you know that to be the case or not. Now, by by learning to understand what this is, what I'm, what I'm speaking about, leads one to becoming the master of your own reality. Because then, because, so for example, if you are conducting, so I've not had any form of, I always mention this, people go, oh, he's going to make that cooked food again, right? <laughs> for, good, for good reason. I've not had any form today of, of anything other than things that carry, that carry, uh, that are generated via organic light, which is, which is a specific type it's a specific form of of energy yeah that's what it is and it, it's in actual fact i would i would say that it is that is giving you it is a negative magnetism charge so what it's doing is it's stopping anything that's going to anything that's going to slow down any of the uh the the, the locomotive movement or workings within my physical vessel that's how, how, how that works yeah so if so for example if i turn around now and i went at a block of cheese with bread it sounds really simple to you but it's not if i turn around now and i and i went into i went and I started eating a block of cheese with bread or whatever or whatever it was yeah that would that would now be an inorganic form of energy yeah all all that will do all that will do is it will simply tip, tip the bone of of where of the current state that I'm in. That's how that how that works. Now you would call that acidity. It's what you would call it. Call it acidity. What we don't realise is is that within every form of matter, within every form of matter, resides um, a spirit and an a spirit fluid, a spirit forces, and residing within every single form of matter yeah but 
So different forms that you consume will have, if people think, we think this is simple, but it's not, is, is going to have a different effect upon your, upon your physical um, avatar. That is the way that, that things work. When we are in the point of stillness, in many cases, we are on the point of neutrality. When we become sexed, this is what takes us closer away from God, what we call God, divinity. This is what happens. Yeah. So when we are not sexed, when we don't look at even ma either male or female in any sexual way, yeah, it brings us closer towards uh, divinity because it is taking us away from lust. Now, sex is invigorating because sex is the interaction of sex is it, it creates life yeah so electrostatic charges are excited become excited by um light through uh, photosynthesis yeah. so but what actually happens is when you become sexed like i say like that then it takes you away from your your actual divinity because you are then focusing on you are because your focus becomes on something outside of the self yeah when you are in, say, a raw state, like I am in right now, yeah, I am having to become a disciplined disciple to do that. D-I's. D-I means two. Same as B-I, which is why you have a Bible, which is a Bible. There's two, two of them. Yeah. So D-I is two as well. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing then is I'm, I'm then now merging spirit and matter. To, together by by becoming by staying in a raw state but by staying in a raw state what am i what am i doing i'm also using i'm also using the waters the waters of the self to do that but i'm also using plasmatic fields to to do what i'm doing what i'm what i'm doing what i'm doing is it is expanding my field of my field of magnetism, my field of magnetism, because what I'm what I'm doing is I'm working with the good, I'm working with the good and the bad, but what I'm actually doing is is, is that I'm creating a point of stillness within the, within the center point of being, because the what you call the what we call the bad, yeah, these are all they're not actually good and bad. What there is is there's, there's right and wrong. Yeah, we we perceive negative to be bad, but there are two up. There are just simply two up at the end of the pole. What we are to do, what we are to do, is to not go to either either one polarity, but but to remain um, centered. Now, it's a, it's a form of energy, but people think that it's something different to that, but it's not. We're speaking about an energy here. So there's a long energy, which is this here. Once you access that, once you access that, you can only access it. Excuse me. You can only access it by becoming the, 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 the disciplined disciple, which is there's a reason why it is called the I. So by doing that, you become a disciplined disciple. And by becoming a disciplined disciple, you then discover, yeah, through not being distracted, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and not disturbing your balance, right? And that is it. That is achieved. That is is a state of being that is that is a, achievable by all beings, yeah. And what you what we are doing, what we are doing, is working with densities through do, through doing so. Yeah. So when we are operate, operating in um, a raw state, you're still operating in a form of a plastic state. Like I've had some some people who may have been, I've been doing it a little bit longer, not have been doing it as long, etc. And then they, they come to think of it and they think, ah, oh, in actual fact, this is um, it's becoming, it's, it's a bit of like a chore or it, I'm fighting against my actual being. You're never, ever fighting against your being because when you, when you're, when your being tells you yeah, to experience 
what you perceive to be negativity or to experience eating something what you would normally consider to be um, no good. Right. I'm at the stage for me now where it's not like I'm, I'm not going to be able to ever eat an, an animal. I'm not going to be ever, ever, ever able to eat a, a dairy product. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to ever do any of any of those things. And the reason that is, is because of where I've already put my physical vessel through densities, through layers of density, not through mind, through layers of density, alignment with mind. And then what happens is there is a body and mind tethering. I'm going to speak about in a in minute, a, a tethering, right? There's a body and mind communication where you, you contentment, everything is limitless, is limitless. At the moment, there is a, there is a pure there is a pure force that is running. I'm always saying this, running directly straight through me into into the screen. A pure it's called the samadhi um, bliss, a heart energy it's running straight uh, running straight through. Yeah, and it it it's it, it getting oneself getting oneself yeah to like to release layers and veils of of um, sympathy. And the jury, the reason I'm saying this is because like, there are some people I know of, there are other cults as well, who are very, very clued up. They're enlightened beings upstairs, right? And they, I've seen them saying on certain videos, they have massive, massive followings. I've, I've mentioned no names of that. Right. Right. And they, they say, look, I've slipped up. It slipped up. They've, they've started, they were, they, were, um, they were vegan before, and then they've gone back to having dairy products and stuff like that. And I'm just like, we never ever judge another. I do this in my videos. That's quite explain it. You always only judge the self. There's always you're here to learn. But the, you see, the urine. Many people in this true community, etc., they perceived it as though, oh, this is a chore. This is because of dualism. You are, you are, you're sort of telling, telling people don't want to be. The ego doesn't want to be told by another, you should be doing this or do this. Yeah. Nobody wants to be told what to do. Yeah. And that is the actual the actual ego because divinity is speaking through each individual being to say, look, this is what I have this is what I have discovered, right? Yeah. And if if this is if you die this got discover, yeah, this as well. It's like cover, cover, right? I'm gonna go into this because this is about spirit. Right. And spirit, yeah, it is is um in fives nine. Right. I'm gonna go into this. Yeah. Now it's about what we're able to discover here. Because when you what happens is when you when we come here, every single envelope that you open here is a is a game, is a court game. And that's why they were sending them through your door. And it was sending through your doors going, Oh no, what can't believe. Like when I live in in the matrix, I, I had a, a set up a system through no le legal ease, legal laws. All is what you call health. I don't call it health. It's balancing mind and body and spirit. And what I did was I stopped them from sending me bills. I stopped them from sending me bills years ago. So that what actually happened is I got I got I track. What happened is if they was to summon me and have it go into a box, where what happened is they can't summon me because I'm a live entity. But it can only sub summon what is in the in the mailbox. So when you if you if you had your post going to a box, it could only summon the actual box. What actually happens here, if you see, is when you have a letter here, there's four corners on it. So when you go onto a court, when you go into a court, you can sit on a on a tennis court, a basketball, or a court, or you go into a court of law. Yeah. So what actually happens when every time you open up an envelope. This is what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be in command, in command of these four elements here, which is which is earth, water, fire, and air. Yeah. Now what happens is as the soul, you you your your body, the soul, creates the physical body through the mineral kingdom. And you fall deep down, deep down, yeah, into debris, into dense matter. Now, I'm not speaking about something that you can see here. I'm speaking about layers of density. Yeah. And then what happened is when you fall, yeah, you have to rise back up 
and you 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 open them. What happens is this dead matter, these these four are dead, right? And they are brought to life on the five points of contact by the soul. When the soul recognizes these four, so your sensations, your senses, you have to overcome your your your, your actual senses. Yeah, you you become you become the master of your emotions. You cannot be healthy if your emotions are all over the place. Yeah, I don't use the word health. Yeah, I, I call it. Uh, you, you're you're basically as an alchemist for alchemy. Yeah, it, it, it's balancing. I call it. We, we are to balance the being. Yeah, right. So you cannot have your health without your emotions. Right now, if we we didn't realize that the air. What you call air, which is not really air, they call it air. Yeah, the the, the breath of life is also called the breath is also called the breath of death, right? But you can save yourself through your breath, yeah, because you can eliminate your suffering through your breathing once you learn how to breathe correctly. When you drink aged, when you drink, when we work with aged urine. It is supposed to be from an adept practice, from an adept perspective, it is supposed to be, yeah, in conjunction with hey, sorry, it's supposed to be in conjunction with your breathing. So was you was mentioning it earlier. You saying you, I was saying earlier, yes, they have groups. We have the activation of the philosopher's stone, age during the group, and plasma uh, group as well, at the same time also. Yeah. And and then um, what, what that is, what that is, yeah, is in, is in alignment, is in alignment with um, your breathing. So you know, there's something called uh, there's a guy called uh, Vim Huff. It's been going for many years now. Vim Huff, known for a uh, long, long, long time. Now, Vim Vim Huff, yeah, just put it, put it it's, it's all right. It's just stuff. It's just stuff that I have written. I have a lot of stuff because it it comes to me in the night. See, when you when you uh, when you embark upon the work of the true work of self-realization, it is almost you, 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 you are, you are, you die. You have to, the, the, the physical vessel, the body that you knew be, dies many times over and becomes reborn again. And you kind of enter into a pact where you will become a new being. But by becoming a new being, yeah, means, means that, means that, you are dealing with communication outside of the physical plane, yeah, because that is where your 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 actual true self um, resides outside of the game that you are that you are currently playing, yeah, uh, as an, an avatar being, right? So, and so I know exactly what what I am doing here, and I and I, I also know of the. The previous lifetime in Samaria, where I was here before, and I said this on the videos a couple of years ago. Yeah, no, 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 nothing um, new or exciting to me because it's something that I am here to do deliberately due to a last deluge that happened previously. Yeah, in in Samaria, yeah, where we lost a lot of people. And because of that, I I know through the works that I've that have been done. For myself and the astral over the last 10 to 12 years yeah that i could go into yeah go into you know exactly where i'm doing where, where, where i'm at with doing. Um, and and there's a story between uh, gilgamesh and enkidu that i'm going to go into because this this story between gilgamesh and en enkidu from samaria tells the story of why a lot of souls now like like i am also doing why we are exiting this actual matrix to move into more organic pastures we are heading back into the womb there's a five six thousand year old it's not story it's a truth that is very relevant to the current situation that we are uh, embarking upon right now we think that we are doing things but in reality it's already been done prior because there is no time yep there is no time and the future in the past is is present and that is why i know that i have i have done this before that we are doing right now so anyway we're saying so with the the Vim, the Vim Huff technique is very similar to with the age during because what's actually happening is I had I just written down he uses ice cold now electricity is cold 
Now, aged urine can carry a very high negative electric charge. Yeah, uh, which is uh, MVs, millivolts charge, millivolts charge. Volt charge, millivolts charge, yeah, MVs is connected to water, which is connected to uh, the our, our, our goddess Aurora, yeah. And the, the reason is the queen of the sea, queen of the sea, yeah. And the reason is, yeah, she commands supreme voltage charges. Right. They are, those supreme voltage charges are being, um, the, you, you, you can see them now across, oh, I was warning about them myself about over the last 18 months. Yeah. And now, and now excuse me, you can, you, can, you can see them, you can hear them. Yeah. I'm drinking a lot of water. Hot water, anybody that wants to do some astral work, et cetera, you should drink hot water at night time. Yeah. It, it really it really helps to let to, to it helps you to become to let go. Letting go is key. Letting go is key. I'm actually gonna start doing uh, helping people going forward with, with some videos on some other stuff as well to do with the, the the ability to be able to access ones, access your metaphysical bodies, yeah, and to actually become a more of a supreme being in this physical state. Right. So I was just saying that these uh, through these the the Vim Hof techniques, he uses a deep breathing, right? When you use this deep breathing, when I'm saying about the death breath, what happens is when you get acidosis, yeah, your kidneys they release ammonia, ammonium, right, to rebalance you, to rebalance you. Ammonia is connected to um, um, ammunition. Ammunition, ammonia, and ammunition can be used for rocket fuel. But ammonia is urea, it's your urine. Now, when you deep breathe, he does it in the cold. Yeah, it enables him to act in higher state of being, a higher mind. When you use your aged urine, you should also be conducting it with deep breathing techniques. Yeah, right. Because the aged urine has a massive oxygen capacity. Yeah, but then oxygen, we can connect that with your iron mitochondria which we can then connect to your magnetism. What you find is if you do, if you do, if you um, do deep breathing techniques and you close your eyes and you use the, um, the, um, the aged urine, yeah, especially through, through, through the ethermoid bone, through your nose here, yeah. You will, because what happens is, you see, the brain is obviously massive oxygen stress. The brain and the gonads, these these two areas here, these, there's a massive tour of the field here. Yeah. When you intake it, see what we what we're speaking about is advancing, upgrading the cell. Yeah. And you are doing this through um, you, call, you call it I call it it's, it's, these are magneto dielectric charges. That is what we are doing. That is what Vim Hof is doing. He's using electricity, but it doesn't probably explain it on the scientific at uh, that scientific uh level yeah that is what the cold is because the cold you see cold is connected to electricity it's your electric charge but the the heat the heat the sensation connected to your magnetism which is connected to sensation it's all about sen sensation here so by creating by by creating this raw space within within you you are creating a, a, a you are a accessing accessing a higher set of sensation vibrational sensation coming through yeah and you are also doing it through your sex which is why if you if you ejaculate that's why the word jack you use a jack to raise up a car yeah that's why if you can create when when a couple is together, they always find that they get a, a they find attraction from others. It's only because of the, the way that we've been brought up. The a lot of women, especially women as well, they have they suffer with like jealousy and all these sort of things, and they feel they have to trap down their partners. And that is because they have not activated their their their, their spirit side. They're only activated the math side, yeah, which is full of imperfection. But you let off something called pheromones. This is this is magnetism, and these these pheromones are sensory. Remember, I was talking about senses and the earth. And what happens is you let off these senses when you are in love with your partner, right? 
and other people can become attracted to these through through these through these pheromones through these senses because we're all interconnected yeah so somebody that in the stat in a stand the occult nature of their vessel can actually command a lot of power because they control other people can control other people through their magnetism through the pheromones in 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 one way of speaking but your your what i was just speaking about there with the uh with the age jury the age jury yeah that what the age jury is doing what it's doing is, is it's 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 giving you an acceleration of your being because of the, the the amino acids that are within it and going back to what i was saying about people because what the what the urine does what it does what it does is it it keeps you on a on a clear path it keeps you on a clean path because it's clean waters yeah and that's why in many in many uh, scriptures as well it will tell you about waters it will, it will always say like this one here that I did in the presentation the other day because this this was, uh, just came through Revelation seven um, seven seventeen, All right? So it says for the lamb, for the lamb, this is the lamb. Do you remember I was talking about neutrality at the minute? I was saying you have to be meek. See, meek is the the, the meek shall inherit the earth, but meek is m e, which is medi, which is middle, medi, medi, which is middle. How do you become middle? You become middle because you act as middle plane here. This is how you become middle. Yeah. You become middle because you don't become pulled by either positive or negative. You become neutrality, neutral. Yeah. Because the, the bad things, the things that must happen to you must take place and then you must gather the, the wherewithal to learn, not just learn from them, not learn from them, focus upon them. Dive deep. A light bearer is called a light bearer, it's masonry, because it's the one that can dead can dive deep. I was going to try and bring up something. I could like right. you imagine like a trampoline. Yeah, this is what we're talking about with this here. I'm talking about this here. It's the one that can dive deep into the vilest condition and work there from the perspective of the soul. What we're doing, yeah, and recognize. Like if I went now and if if I if I was to go now and turn around and start eating a veggie burger, what would happen is it would make it would mess me up emotionally. I would feel Instantly, I will feel tired and drained because I've just gone on to the opposite. I've, I've come out of the, I've risen up, I've come into the neutral point of perfection. And now I have created, I've put things inside of me that are going to require my vessel, all of the the, the osmotic pressures and, and everything else inside of me that was creating homeostasis have now got to work hard again to, to, to they've got to bring calcium from out of my bones and, and everything. And I'm, I'm, I'm also doing it. It's 11 o'clock at night here. So I'm, I'm also doing it when I haven't got the hormones in place to deal with it at the same time. I shouldn't be putting anything into my vessel because I should be operating with darkness and stillness. So what I'm now doing is my your vessel will speak to you and will give you what you call, what you perceive to be as a negative experience it's here. This is what this is here. It's not this, it's this. Yeah. So it's giving you... It's constantly giving you this figure of eight here, which is heaven and hell. That is why H is eight, because H is the number eight, yeah? And that's why H is eight, because it's giving you, you're so always suffering with heaven and hell, heaven and hell, heaven and hell, all of the time, because the, the what is hidden is this, this third force, this third force. And this third force comes into play with everything. Even when we are having sex, that third force will always come into play. So you are always working upon a chessboard. On this chessboard here, you will find you will find on this chessboard here, you'll find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then across it, you'll find eight again here. So you're always going to see 88, which is line gate, which is so that you're, you, this is telling you you are playing a game on this chessboard here. This chessboard here are positive and negative atoms, positive and negative squares. Your interactions, your interactions with other beings is the same as the luminary interactions. They have we're having a, going to have a great conjunction coming up in the next couple of months. Because these luminaries 
will come together and they will have an interaction. But each one is, it has its own ray, its own ray, which we are connected to. Yeah. Mine is, is with the moon. Yeah. But my but my rising sign is um, is Aries. But I'm a Cancerian. Yeah. If I go through the, the Wheel of Fortune, you'll see. And, and what happens is with the way the Wheel of Fortune uh, works is my 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 phys my matter state is in is my soul is furnished in um in cancer yeah but my what my my physical body is furnished in um capricorn yeah but then it goes on to tell you but i can explain so i'll do it on the other video there's no point in going into it now but this is how it works everything is is perfectly timed and cyclical yeah and then through these cards, which there is 52 of these cards, right? Yeah. It, then it, it shows me that my my rising sign, which is the same in astrology, is Aries. So I'm going to be very forthright and very I'm direct, straight to the point. But both of those are cardinal signs. So my rising sign and the cancer, these are cardinal signs. So I'm, I'm more of going to be more of a leader. Yeah. But then I'm master number 11 as well. So that's why I'm, the reason I'm saying all this because that's why I'm so I'm fiery at the same time as I'm passionate at the same time as I'm going to be intuitional. Yeah. Because of because of what what happens when I come through that light of the sun, when I came through the light of the sun. But on here, on here, if you, you can see this here, the queen, the queen and the king here. Yeah. Are D and E. Yeah. Together, they are nine. Together, they are nine. Yeah. That that's so that's how how things are working, right? And nine, and nine is giving you spirit. Nine is is um, is is spirit. Without without spirit, without spirit, we cannot move. Nothing nothing's going to happen. Yeah, and that can go e either way. But because we don't know how things, excuse me, really work, we are I think we are being manipulated. Being manipulated. So the soul and spirit resides within the blood, which resides within your waters, which resides within the urine. So we find a lot. If we were born, you see what's happened is we have a personality, you see. And what the, the sorcerers, uh, sinister occultists do is they play upon um, your personality of the ones that came through before you because you're stuck upon a record. Even the music I've got, uh, the next thing I'm going to write, I can write some part out there, is, that is how the music works. That's why when you, li you listen, they listen to music, the music in the old world, uh, you see, I've always known when you, in the old world, when they have, they, they used to have this the scrying box, the television, everything. As a child, it used to make me feel sick. Like MK, I, I knew I was M being MK, like MK Ultra victim as a child, because when it would re replay, these, these soaps and the news and everything, they have a music. They have a music. And that music makes you feel a particular way. It, for me, it makes me feel sick. I can't have it even now. Have it, on. it will take me all the way back to the traumatising memories as a child. Yeah? Where they are, where, where they, they're they beating the soul out of you. Yeah, this is what they, what they would have, what they were doing. And it's a programme that has been running and that's why this this says here, for the lamb at the centre of the throne will be their shepherd. And that's why I was saying about the lamb. That is the lamb here. That little lamb, you see this lion here, and you see this is the spiritual bride. This is the negative, and this is the positive, this lion here. If you over positive, over that, that positiveness is in some of the food that they eat. Then they cook food. It doesn't affect everybody, in there, but it affects a lot of people in that way. Yeah, because it's in alignment with lost. And what that does, this this form of magnetism, it, 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 it can be applied to you. And it is being applied through certain technologies and certain fields. I can show technology. I've shown things here and show you how the, 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 the perturbation of magnetic fields, the different effects that it has upon, upon human beings. Because what happens is the front of your brain is negative and the back is positive. If I if I apply a voltage charge to front and the back of your brain here, the right, the right way around, you will experience feelings of well-being and bliss. If I put them, put them the other way, then they can put you to, it can make you feel uncomfortable, but it can put you to sleep instantly. It's called electro sleep. Yeah. 
and they they can use that. But they but what do they do? They could do that if they wanted to, but they use they use drugs. I think they put people to sleep, bed, gas in there. But they can use magnetism to put you to sleep. And the reason they don't do that is because in a passive, an active and passive state, you with your uh, the sickness of an individual can be pulled directly out of their body. Imagine that. Yeah, it can be pulled directly out of the passive being by an active being who is aware because using their magnetism, yeah, in a loving fashion. But you have to be able to conduct your magnetism to do this. So this is why they fear you so much as, as beings. And they fear what I speak about, what I speak about here really, is because through magnetism, we can dissolve all suffering. All suffering can be dissolved. So it says here, for the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. For the lamb at the center of the throne, center of the throne, well, it's a, a, a throne, yeah, it can be connected to your crown, your crown, which is worn upon your head, but your throne. So the shepherd, right. Now, he will lead. Now, the shepherd also is, there's a goat called Pan, and he was also a shepherd, right? But then you see Saturn is, 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 has a sickle, a sickle, because he's harvesting souls. Yeah. That which is not ready will be oxidized. And this is why we, we are trying to run around being healthy, etc. Because we know it subconsciously that if, if we are not balancing ourselves, if we are not balancing our vessel, then we will be oxidized. But we never think about what happens at the other end of the scale. What would happen at the other end of the scale if we were looking past health and we were looking towards acceleration uh, of the being and upgrading of, of the being into a, a higher state of being? What would actually happen? Would we become immortal? Yes, we would. But it says here, he will lead them to springs of living water. Yeah, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Yeah, because it's telling you that you 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 are in a place of um, a place of, of suffering. Yeah, where you have been in the place of of, um, of suffering, but living waters. See the thing with the thing with um, living waters. Yeah, which I'm going to speak about to people here is waters. Waters. Yeah, are connected. Are connected. Um, are, te are, are connected with um, tethered with ether. E the word ether, the word ether and tether and tether, these are these are interconnected. Yeah, right. One second, I'm just going to try and pull something up quickly. Right, I want to see, hopefully you can see this. Right, yes, yeah, I have it. So the word ether and tether, right, these are connected now. Water, water. If I come, if I bring this up here, let me show this again here. You see, you see this here, right? You can see that there. That is er, right? See er. That's you see the crown above it. See the crown. The sas lamb means vagina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is her Majesty, like right? you have the queen, right? So that's the, the, their royal main, right? Now I could go into the legal end of that, and you'd be surprised. You won't believe. How they run everything, wrote a lot of things through the royal mail because it's not royal mail. Because what, what it is, you see, it's it's maritime law, and what they're doing is conducting, passing passing things through water, yeah, passing things through water. But you are you are our alive entity. You're not a dead being, right? And you are your body is in, your body is encased within water. It, within it's like, uh, in, so you, I, if I go deeper inside of here. You're going to find I have this hydrostatic, uh, osmotic pressures all inside of here. I have your plasma light highway is deliberately trying to create an equilibrium and the balance all the time. The, the balance is disrupted by the mind, yeah, because of the personality, the things that we have been taught. When we step out of the way, when we step out of the way, then, and this is why after 18 hours, remember 18 hours, 18 is one plus eight is nine. Yeah, it's R, it's R here, yeah? After 18 hours, your cells will start to regenerate again if you are in a dry, bad state, yeah? So but e, this, the reason I'm showing you this ER here, the reason they use that 
is because it's royalty. They use it, yeah, because it's very powerful. Because what happens is, what happens is, water, yeah, fire, er, yeah, yeah, ether and tether, right? These are all connected because what hap what the water does, what water does, water, yeah, it's it although it contains the geometry of perfect incommensability, right? Now, so water has the hydrogen and the oxygen um, together, right? Right. But they create this perfection of perfectibility. What water does, we don't know where we are. And I can tell you that we, there are seven planes above where we are, where we are, right? Now, what happens is it's all interconnected with water. So what's happening is the plasma that we are starting to, we're starting to conduct now, we're starting to use with water, yeah? The water is able to hold memory from other from other planes. When I'm when I'm writing uh, philosophical posts and stuff, I'm talking about uh, planes and I'm talking about matter planes, but I'm also talking about planes and talk about planes that are act that are accessed by accessing once we access the higher state of being to enable us to be able to leave this particular physical plane. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm speaking about. Because when you go into a church, this is if you find this in the church, you'll see this X here, this XP here. Now you have twelve. You have you have a twelveness, and you have a twelveness because one of the, the leading luminaries that's doing the conjunction is Jupiter. And it, and every throughout the course of the twelve month, what it does, it will go into each zodiac sign, right? And that gives us the twelve months of the year, right? But once we become like they say, the Mayans ascending through the sun. Once you be once we have finished this particular game, then we can then we can what they call ascend or accelerate, yeah, like a helium balloon, yeah, upwards to the next planes. But the water is a tethering device between each of the planes, between each of the planes. So the water carries light information, yeah, from more perfected, real planes, real places, yeah. And all of those, all of those real places, all of those real places here. If they, and I, what I'm going to do is just turn the screen now. You might be able to see this. What it, what it is? It's a white screen. So all of all of those all of those places are all are all intertwined, and they're all connected by by water. And they're connected by water. And you can see that there. And you see here. This is where you are here. Right. I hope that you can see this because what we wanted to be able to do was do the screen share. We weren't able to do that. So if you see this here. This tells you where you are. This is the center there. That's the center here and the button there. And then above the center here, you'll see where it says Polaris. Polaris. That's the North Star. So what, ha what happens is all of the planes where we live here, they're lying to you totally. Right. So it's where you keep talking about X all the time. Because all of the planes, all of those planes are all connected. And that's what this is here. By this, the queen of the sea, which is the all seeing eye. See this eye here. This all seeing eye is the axis point for all of all of the all of the actual planes. Yeah. So what actually happens is the plasma that is incoming, and next month there's going to be a, the, these conjunctions that are happening, but there is a hidden 13th. Yeah. And it's called Ophicius, which is in, in, in alignment in connection with our sex. And it will be releasing plasma fields that are connected with water. What I'm speaking about here, uh, Pythagoras knew taught because the Pythagorean principle will find water at the top. So this is why when you see when people go like this, you go like this. This is V for vendetta. V, but she's she's voltage and she's waters. She's V. So you have air and water at the top here. It's a five pointed star when you see it the wrong way around. Yep. And then what happens is here you have plasma here. Yeah. This is uh, infra infrared uh, technology. Yeah. So this is I'm going to show proof here right now. Yeah. That I have a video to show this as well. That when you, a human being, this is a human being here, right? It's a human being. I'll, do you know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll show, give me two seconds, right? And I'm going to show it on here. A human being, hopefully I can show it. It won't be taking two minutes to do that. A human being, right, 
when you come up with your heart, it will show you as red, the infrared, yeah? But when you are cold, when you are cold, yeah, what it will do is it will show, it will show you as blue. That's how it works. But with the, I haven't get, I haven't get this up. Yeah, here it is. With the plasma, with the plasma, it's showing a purple background, which is showing you live proof there. Yeah, so we're dealing with, it's a gamma radiation. It's a superior, supreme force that we're dealing with here. Hope you can see this. I'm going to try and show it, try to show it. Yeah. Right. So what, what that's telling you, what, what he's doing is holding a bottle in his hand. Yeah. Now, the environment that you can see around the bottle became pink. Now, that shouldn't happen. Yeah. If, in the physical. Yeah. Everything else should. It's always going to be like red to show your heart. That's why they have the infrared like in, in China. Yeah. It's all this is what we live in. It's, it's all it's all scripted. So they have machines so they can check people's body temperature. To see if you're overheating, etc., and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So with the with the plasma, with the plasma, it's providing a new color, which is which was a which a purpley pink. He's holding the gun water in his hand. Yeah. So this is a form of the radiation. It's electromagnetic EMR radiation, and the the, the EMR radiation are all different. Ether, they're all different ether pressures and ether torsions, and that's why light is just a compression of light that we see physical light is a compression of, of ether so when we at this point now i've been over the many many years i was already seeing how things manifest i was already researching learning about plasma um some years before and i was putting, putting it out there and everything some years before i even kept before it came into my physical it, you know it came to me physically yeah and and so that shows how things work, and then many many answers in, in terms of other people that have spoken over the years, like Paracelsus, etc., uh, alchemists, etc., speaking about a quintessence, the fifth element, yeah, and that is the fifth element because what happens is the four elements of nature. We'll have to cut this off, uh, quick, so shortly. The four elements of of nature, yeah, which as I said, which is earth, fire. Um, water and air yeah these are a four and what happens is like i was showing when i started off earlier they create they create a matter cross they create a matter cross this here is a double matter cross and what happens is with that, that four the reason that this eight is swirling like this here is because there is a fifth force and that fifth force brings dead matter to life and that is why is it a, what the masons do is he, the mason would square his circle, yeah? And you are squaring your circle circle with a theory life force, yeah? Which manifests itself to one, and upon doing so, this is when one recognises and becomes one with his immortality. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's that's awesome, man. The way you can just keep it rolling like that. It's a lot of information and it all you just it all comes together. It's so cool, man. It's it's really cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I just wanna say like I have done a lot of learned a lot of things from you, man, like with plasma guns and urine therapy and, and really does bring you into a much more balanced state and um and it's uh it's wonderful and i can see with the, your experience like the way you're describing things just just how cool it is to like for you to really know your purpose here and and uh everything you're sharing on it is so cool and and it's for yourself at the same time because it's all the same and yeah mm -hmm. thank you thank just you brother and i appreciate all the yeah 
Thank you. Just one so, thing, because yeah. I, I, I meant to put this out, and I don't want to forget you, because I, I'll, if I forget to put this out, and then I'll be like, I, I, forgot, I meant to do this on, on my last video, and I didn't do it, right? So I, this says, so start, I've been speaking about this for a few years as well, and now we're here now, we're at that point. So it's saying society is splitting in two. People who are driven by fear, who want to be ruled over, and people who are driven by love and want to be free, right? That, that there, it pretty much tells the story of of what is happening here right now. Because even to to drink of the self and to look towards the urine is an act of self love. Yeah, and that cannot be seen. That cannot be seen by the, the other the other half of the being. That I hear, even other beings, activating beings who are not doing things like drinking their urine, they can, they, they still, obviously, without even saying a word, recognize, recognize. Yeah, that is, it is an, an an elevated, an elevated action. So that is what we what we are seeing now. There are two types of obedience. Yeah, there is an is a, there's an obedience, there's an obedience to a a self loathing. And a, and, a, and a suffering, yeah, which is controlled by a parasite, yeah, and there and there's an obedience to 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 to, to the divine universal laws, yeah, which are splitting the path, and we are finding that what happens is we are then able to face a parasite and walk away from it, and then it is to be seen. Some of the things, some things I say, have come to me and talked to me on the astral. And that parasite it will be seen to be eating itself. Yeah? Yeah, the bale. Will be seen, yeah, the buff will be seen to be eating um, itself by the ones, yeah, righteous ones who became activated in the moment when we cried. So peace, love, and tenderness, and love to you, brother. Thank you, Fabian. And we'll have to do another one because. Yeah, I had more to ask you, and I know you have more to share, and me too. So, thanks so much. Yeah, have a good evening over there, and until next time, lie in love, brother. Cheers. Sure. Love. See you in Portugal, everyone. <laughs> whoever, whoever, whoever's making their way out to where we're going. Peace and love. Oh, thank you. Okay, love. Cheers, bro. Bye bye.